Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Enter Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 39. And well, there's one interesting thing I really wanted to show you. Basically, how these Infinity Runs are being done is I'm actually getting Dimension Boosts, even though normally it's not the optimal way to do it. And no, I do not have unlocked the Buy Max Dimension Boost Auto Buyer Mode, which I probably should get. But you can see it's actually buying Dimension Boost after I get like enough galaxies, I can get another galaxy and that's enough to take me to faster infinity points per minute than if I didn't do any dimension boosts at all. So I guess the, the, the other interesting thing I could do is just this and now it should be way faster to reach the same point. That's really all I wanted to tell you. There's really not much else that's different than the last reality upgrade. Like we could do like something like we could pause the, like, let's say the big crunch auto buyer, try to go for the second affinity dimension, except the second affinity dimension is, like, su it's surprisingly hard to get. So, yeah. See in a bit. Oh, yeah, the one other thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention was that it's feeling a lot more like the first, not, not the first reality, the second reality, where I didn't have automatic achievements, even though I do have automatic achievements. This is because I'm trying to go f a little faster now, and the automatic achievements are not that far ahead of where I actually am. Like, it, I think the last one I got is Error 909, which, I mean, I'm not all that far from Error 909. And I'm definitely not, like, I had most of these, the ones in this row, before it started um, automating that. I think the only ones I didn't have was something like Infinitely Challenging and maybe a new beginning before I had Infinity Invention. So, it actually does suck, because, like, some of the really good ones, good achievement rewards, such as, when will it be enough? Like, it's gonna take a long time to reach there. Which is really... It's detrimental if I want to try to go for reality upgrades, such as Existentially Prolong. So, yeah. Seen a bit, I guess. Okay, so I'm back after actually like many hours, almost an entire day, and it is a lot slower than I thought. It's barely any faster than last reality when I had no automatic achievements. The, again, the achievements are not that much farther than where I would actually be right now, which is right before eternity. Actually, what I can do right now is get a galaxy, and that will easily take me to eternity. And... Well, maybe I shouldn't have done it so quickly, but whatever. Because there is, you know, the reality upgrades here, and I am really thinking about getting the knowing existence if things start really slowing down, because it doesn't seem like it's all that much faster than it would normally be. So this may be a really, really bad idea, but I'm going to get this upgrade. I don't know, three times the turning points, it'll get even better as I start getting time theorems, like, well, I probably shouldn't put it into the time theorem, I should probably put it into time dimensions, that's better. I also start with, it's only three eternities, so it's not going to be all that good, but whatever. This is just, it's just going to be a boosted version of Etern, it's, whatever, I'm, I'm going to skip this part, because there's nothing really interesting happening right now. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I just wanted to know that there's this really interesting effect going on right now. And this is when I start my infinity run. It, like, it quickly, I stopped getting antimatter. It's because of some of the achievement rewards, such as ludicrous speed and I break for Nova. Especially ludicrous speed. Because this effect is actually quite strong at this point of the game. At least before infinity dimensions. So, it actually caused my antimatter production to go... Down. I was actually getting like e like 1097 just before the first infinity dimension, but yeah, I kind of just wanted to mention that because it's it's a really interesting and not normal effect that you wouldn't see normally. So yeah, see another bit. Okay, I'm back about 12-ish hours later, and you can see I'm up to e7 attorney points just enough to finally start getting closer to the idle path. And I kind of just wanted to note that it is really 
I'm really noticing this three times, or maybe not noticing the three times eternity point boost, but it's definitely do, doing a lot of good because I actually had to grind like eternity points. Right now I'm grinding eternities, but yeah, it's it's actually a lot rougher than I thought. I I'm now up to almost all of the achievements, not quite all of them, but like maybe something like this one would be very good, and of course banked infinities and stuff like this could help with eternity times and of course two times faster replicanti but yeah it's actually it's lower than i thought it would be again even even in this post eternity part i'm not going for any like upgrades or anything i guess i can get a few of these time dimension things but like even with that I still I'm still using the antimatter dimension path. Actually, if I just if I just get a little bit farther, I can probably get use the infinity dimension path. But basically, I wanted to show this. This is what idle starts out at. It's still actually worse than active in the short run, but just barely worse than active. And it probably probably starts out at passive, which means that if I'm doing I still might actually want to use active sometimes, but idle is a lot more viable for a lot of things. So that is that's actually really really useful. I'll I'll show you when I get there. So yeah, see another bit. Okay, so I've just got a little bit more of the E8 attorney points, and this is where I can start utilizing the idle path. The thing is the thing about the idle path is that so it seems like it starts at 35.4, which is worse than 121, but it's often hard for me to remember to actually get up to 50. And it's like, this is only like a little bit worse, and it gets better over time, and I don't have to waste a whole bunch of time getting this up to 50 again. So it might be better to go idle at this point. I'm not really sure. There is another thing I wanted to point out here, and this is... Oh my god, well, for first of all, look at all these eternity points. But also, if we go to Replicanti here, um, when, when we infinity, notice how this is actually getting faster and faster. This is because of Cosmically Duplicate. The Replicanti speed is multiplied based on Replicanti galaxies. I don't know, I just think that's really cool to see. So, there really isn't all that much else going on other than just the regular grinding for eternity points and trying to make it through this section of the game. It's really a, it's just about the same speed. There's just slightly different buffs. Like, for example, like there's Replicanti speed buff and there's the idle path buff that makes the idle path good. Unfortunately, I still don't have the removes to downsides from study 131 and 133, the active and idle study pass. So I either, either have to hold R the whole time, which I don't like doing, or I have to deal with slow replicanti speed, albeit it's still not that slow. So, yeah. Um, there's really not much else different than last time, other than maybe the three times a turning point multiplier. And I don't th think it's not going to be all that different this section of the game, at least until I start getting more glyphs that affect this section of the game. So... Yeah, see another bit. Okay, I'm back like half an hour later. I am starting to get into the Eternity Challenges phase, and there there's an interesting thing here. Notice how uh, I'm right now grinding Infinities for Eternity Challenge 4. Notice there's only 125 million instead of 150 million. This is because of an, there's actually an update to the game that didn't add any new content, it just balanced things, basically. And... It nerfed the Eternity Challenge 4 requirement. Thank God. I mean, it's still too much, but whatever. It's I, I'm i getting so many more infinities that it is it only takes about a minute to get here. So, yeah, I basically just wanted to note that. The other thing, the problem is that Eternity Grinding still sucks as much as ever. And now that I'm trying to go a little faster, it really does feel like a just like a time wall. And... That, that I can't remove. So, uh, yeah, the, ch the challenges are going pretty good. They're not as easy as, as last time, but 
they're they're pretty doable i think w watch me fail this challenge i don't know okay i'm not failing this challenge i'm gonna get i'm gonna easily reach the goal here but yeah it's it's going smoothly it's not exactly like super fast or anything but i guess that's gonna be next reality when i just skip this section of the game entirely and entirely so yeah seen a bit Okay, I'm back a few hours later, and it looks like... Well, first of all, I'm in, I'm in Eternity Challenge 11, and this nasty challenge is still almost as slow as ever, but it was nerfed by the same update that also nerfed the Eternity Challenge 4 requirements here. And it's now E50 less Infinity Points for all tiers, which is really nice, because this challenge, even with my Replicanti speed boost, it isn't even that good at this point. It's like, what, 28% faster? 30% faster? Yeah, that isn't exactly the greatest thing ever. And the other thing is that the knowing existence is now more than three times turning point multiplier, which is interesting. It's not really all that powerful even at this point because five orders of magnitude isn't very good. That's the, that's the reason why I wasn't really all that much into this upgrade. But I guess... Here I'm doing it, and dilation is actually getting pretty close. I've also done a few completions of Eternity Channel 12. I kind of have my own Eternity Channel 12 build, but it doesn't fit in these six slots. Like, same with 10, I just used the 7 build. And I, I wish there was like 8 or 10 slots in this instead of 6. Like, there isn't really anything I can do with that, but yeah. Seen a bit. Okay, I'm back few hours later, I've done all the completions of Eternity Challenge in 11 and 12, and you can see E1452 Eternity Points. It's actually enough to start getting Eternity Point multipliers, and a few time dimensions, but not all that much. And yeah, I think I did make one minor change in my build, where I switched to 224 instead of 223 in the idle build, but I've realized at this point, active is better, because the additional replicated galaxies will like synergize with 103 so next episode is going to be dilation i'm super excited so yeah hope you enjoyed peace out